One of the most critical components of container nursery production is irrigation. And the two most important concepts pertaining to irrigation are uniformity and efficiency. Uniformity ensures that every plant receives the same volume of irrigation water, while efficiency is the volume of water plants actually use versus the total volume of water pumped. The two most widely used irrigation systems are overhead and low volume irrigation. Overhead irrigation is designed to cover a large area, and these systems are the most widely used, particularly when growing smaller containers because of low initial cost, ease of maintenance, and system longevity. However, traditional overhead systems are often non-uniform and inefficient. It was back in 2007, I was uh, in our greenhouses and out in the field, we were using a lot of water and I was still having a lot of dry spots and I wasn't very happy with my watering system and we had just built this nursery, oh really we actually bought this old location and put new irrigation in about four years earlier and we were already having dry spots, it just wasn't working out. So. I just started looking around at trade shows and um, somebody handed me one of these Dan heads right here. And uh, they were like, just try it out. So it was just one head. I just went and got a piece of pipe and stuck it in there and saw how wide it was and how nice it was. So I went to my local irrigation shop and got them to get me 500 of them. And I started with 500 and I put them on our benches. And um, Within a few weeks, I was sold on them on the benches. I was a, we had irrigation that ran right down the middle of the bench, so we could get three flats on each side of that all the way down. Well, now I can fill the whole bench up, and I was able to add, on average, 30 to 40 flats per bench. So you add that up, that's a couple benches per range. Out in the field, we were having the same problem. Our heads were using two and a half gallons a minute, and we were still having dry spots at the end and the back. So I've tried some of these out here. There's a, it's a little bit different head, but the one that I settled on uses almost three tenths of a gallon a minute compared to two and a half gallons a minute is huge. Uh, you have to water a lot longer, but you're not wasting as much water because you're not getting all this water dumping on all these plant material and it just washing off. This is taking the time to soak down into the plant. So I get much better distribution, much more even coverage, and we're using a lot less water. If I'm not mistaken, the June before, when we were having our old irrigation, we used over a million gallons of water that month. Last June, we only used 400,000 gallons of water. Um, and it was just as hot last June as it was before. So um, just being able to save that electricity money and also not use as much water, um, I felt terrible watching all that water run right down the ditch. And so this has helped a lot. Our plants are looking great. Out in the field, we went from essentially 85 cold frames to 100. We were able to add 15 more cold frames with the space we saved up. So that was our development for the next five years right there. I mean, 15 cold frames is a lot. So it's, it's been very beneficial to us. Easy return on our money. Typical sources of irrigation water are wells, creeks, and ponds. Evergreen Nursery has also taken an innovative approach to ensuring a reliable supply of well water. Well, this is, this is our water system for just the field. Um, it's an 80 gallon a minute well right here that automatically fills, you know, when this, it's basically like a toilet, you know. When this goes down, it, it, it cuts it off. But this holds 11,000 gallons of water. And so it's always refilled which is great. So it runs into our, our pump over here and it can run you know, as much as we want to. I've never seen it um, get below this line right here. It stays caught up pretty well with it. So we can push it pretty hard. It's 80 gallons a minute. Yeah, and if your pump goes down, you always have at least 11,000 gallons. But this has been a great, great thing for us. We've actually um, had um, some other nurseries in this area come out and look at this because they want to kind of do this sort of thing. We're actually talking about maybe the next year to build in one more just to have as a complete storage just in, for emergency sakes. To find additional information, please refer to this document and others which are available on the project website.